So hey guys, it's David here again, and in this video, I'm going to give you an explanation, a very simple one, as to why you procrastinate in your life. Okay, so as you probably know from the thumbnail of this video, um, my area is psychotherapy, and I'm going to give you a psychotherapist's view of procrastination. There are a lot of different ways to it to, that people in psychology have described procrastination and why it takes place, you know, um, habit formation, all that sort of stuff, self-talk, etc., etc., right? Uh, even as simple as CBT stuff where it goes into like time management skills, poor time management skills, all that sort of stuff. But the thing I like about the psychotherapist's view of procrastination, at least me, or I'll speak for myself here, is that it offers a very, very simple explanation for procrastination, okay? And it is, really, that it comes down to low self-esteem, okay? That is why we procrastinate in life, low self-esteem. Or you could even say, a lack of self-respect that stems from low self-esteem, okay? Now, what do I mean by that? Well, with procrastination, you know, procrastination as it relates to maybe work, okay, or some project that you think is, you consider to be important, but maybe not entirely desirable. You know, you're not exactly looking forward to it, but it's something that you think you've decided should be done, should be completed, right? It's important for you. So what happens with the self-image that doesn't like itself, the, 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 you know, the part of the self that is loathing, self-loathing, it uses this as an opportunity for punishment, self-punishment, right? So it takes, what it's actually doing is it's taking that project, we'll say, and it's making the project far bigger than it really is, and it's using it as a way to punish the self. Okay. There, are, there is a way to figure out if this is true or not, or there's an indication that tells me that this is true. When you procrastinate, okay, be honest here for a second, when you procrastinate about something in your life, what is the recurring emotion that comes up? So think about it. Maybe you're, you're at home and you're sitting on the couch and you know, you know what, now is the time to take action on this, pro this project. How do you feel emotionally? What is the emotion that comes up for you? Most people that I've asked this question of, they all tell me the same thing. And the emotion is guilt, okay, guilt. Now that is very revealing. Why is that revealing? Well, who in society do we consider to be guilty? Okay, think about that for a sec. Generally, we think they are criminals, okay? Cr people who are less than, okay, somehow, defective people maybe, right? They are guilty. And what do we as a society tend to think should happen to the guilty? The guilty should be punished, right? The guilty should be punished. So if you think, if you're continually procrastinating and you're feeling the emotion of guilt, that says that there's a part of you that feels guilty, right? A guilty person should be punished. Now, if you really want to punish that person, you can use anything in your life to help make that happen. And it can be as simple as a project that isn't really a big deal, but can be turned into this big deal to punish the person. Now, we tend to think that we, no, no, we feel guilty because we're not doing the project. Okay. The truth is that guilt was there before the project ever enter, ent entered the, the situation, okay? The project came along, and that's just an excuse that we use to help punish ourselves because there's a sense of guilt there because of a poor self-image, an incorrect self-image, I might add, okay? It's not a real one. It's, uh, it's something that's from the past that we can let go of, okay? So... Bear in mind, the reason I'm kind of talking about this is 
as soon as you figure out, well, why do I keep procrastinating even though I know it's hurting my own life? Why do I keep doing it over and over again? Well, if you figure that out, you won't do it anymore. Okay, because people say, I do it and I, do. I can't figure out why I keep doing this. And as, as Freud said, the role of psychotherapy is to make the unconscious conscious. Right? Figure it out, bring awareness to it, and it'll, it'll go away. So once you figure out, well, I keep doing this behavior and I keep feeling guilty about it. And we think the behavior leads to the guilt. What if it's a cycle that you're, you're, you're not right about? And it's the guilt that is leading to the behavior the procrastination okay so as soon as you realize that you begin to say you know what enough of this enough of this and the beautiful thing is then you stop procrastinating because you stop seeing you start to see the project which is just a small part of your life not a big deal just something that can be done quite easily okay you start to see it for what it is and it becomes far more doable you just basically say i'm not going to do it to myself anymore Okay, because I see how I've been using this project and this procrastinating pattern to hurt myself because I feel I need to be punished. Okay, so that is kind of a general outline of the uh, psychotherapeutic view of procrastination. Okay, not everyone agrees with it. Personally, I think I, I tend to think it's spot on. Um, so watch out for the guilt. Watch out for the guilt that's coming up for you as you don't meet the standards you set for yourself in terms of a project and completion of it, okay? And watch how big of a deal you tend to make out of a project. Why? Maybe we want it to be a big deal, right? Maybe we want it to be a big deal so we can have something to berate ourselves uh, with when it isn't completed. So as, as with most things, just bring self-awareness, bring awareness to the emotion, the emotional reaction that comes when you procrastinate and be with the guilt okay and just start to say okay I see a pattern here I keep doing this and I feel guilty okay that's step one but that is the biggest step and once you do that you'll begin to realize you know you'll start to see through this so um, there are a few thoughts on uh, procrastination and the psychotherapeutic approach and uh, food for thought, I think. And uh, hope you enjoyed it, guys. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.